the best way in 2021 to get your Magento onto a production server is the way that causes no downtime whatsoever. Don't even clear any sessions for the, for the users. It's, it's awesome. It's called... Hello, welcome. I'm another Magento dev. And in this video, we're going to be talking about deployments. Deployment is the running of the following commands, generally. You would run setup upgrade, di compile, static content deploy, you'd flush cache. So, and that's that's Magento deployment. That or The whole deployment process can be broken down into three distinct ways. One is sort of your standard FTP deployment, which means you've developed your theme in theme folders, or your module in, in code module folders. You've done your development and you want to get it on a site. So the simplest way is to, <laughs> to upload via FTP your changes and then run the, the, the big four, I call them, the four commands. So you'd run, as I mentioned, setup upgrade, DI compile, static content deploy, and then flush cache. The problem is that actually brings your site down because if you're in production mode all static assets get cleared so a processing error will occur on the front end for all your customers but you'd wrap the big four on a production site in maintenance mode maintenance mode enable maintenance mode disable this causes downtime this causes downtime to your client's store i mean i've had a site take 17 minutes to deploy before which is ridiculous <laughs> Way number two is to automate that process. So through a, a deployment system, um, something like you could Google like Jenkins or DeployBot or DeployHQ. Now you've, you might have used deployment bots or deployment automation processes uh, before for other types of sites, but for Magento, it's basically automating the process I've just described. And it, again, it has to do that behind maintenance mode. We list the commands in a, in a deployment um in, in the deployment system. But when running your deployment through a deployment system, grabs code from a repo and asyncs it to the server. That's essentially what all of these do, what Jenkins does, what DeployBot does. It's a good way of keeping your repository bang up to date with your actual you know, production website. So it's it's you can run obviously production off a master branch and then your staging sites off a developed branch, which is also a brilliant practice. The problem is, you still get the downtime. You have to do all of this behind maintenance mode because it can cause critical errors on your site. Okay, so the best way, the best way to get your Magento onto a production server is the way that causes no downtime whatsoever. Don't even clear any sessions for the, for the users. It's, it's awesome. It's called atomic deployment. So if you're um, if you've got an account with uh, or already using an automated deploy system like Deploy HQ or DeployBot, I use DeployBot, so you could have a you could check that one out. Um, you can actually sign up for free for a limited number of sites to to test it out. I'll put a link in the description. But Atomic Deploy is on there, and it is a simple simple SFTP process, but it it's by far the best way to get your Magento to on a on a production server. So grabs all your changes from your repos. I link mine with Bitbucket, and then all my files, my changes get synced, and it does this in a releases folder. So there's a number of releases. So you essentially you have four folders on your web server in your root. You have a current folder, which no prizes for guessing that is the current release. That's the current website, which is sim linked to the latest release in the releases folder. Then you have some important config files in a shared folder and the media in shared folder. So any images uploaded by admin processes go into a shared folder which contains pub and media. And then pub and media in your current directory or in the releases directory is sim linked. So essentially those things don't get nuked every time you run a deploy. It is it is only the files that are li likely to change. And each release folder um, is, is obviously archived, so you've got a, a backup and you can actually roll back quite quite easily. There's a lot, obviously, if you've made massive database changes within the um, scope of the work you was doing, I wouldn't 
advise rolling back at any point but you know you've got a record of of what went before um and i have it set to about 10 on my on my server it don't take up a great deal of space um and obviously you have the also you have app and the app could you have the environment file which is your links to your database up in your shared folder which then doesn't get altered and every time and and essentially every time you run a deploy it builds the Magento running all those commands that I mentioned in the releases folder and when it's done and it's successful and the database is upgraded and everything has, has gone through um, the sim link for the current folder switches in an instant it's dead simple um, you might want to run a script on there that clears the OP cache as well it basically re reloads PHP resets PHP because I've found it, it obviously changing those sim links on a directly on the server it can sometimes not pick up your changes obviously you know your website's root is now current so it'd be on most web servers the config would be current hyphen pub um, and that becomes your um, root of your website so just be aware of that um, yeah and there's you know I've, I've, I've sort of it, it didn't take long sort of I felt my way through it and I'm sure um, you'll be able to you'll be able to do the same it's um it's a good, it's, I mean, it's, it's obviously the way to go, isn't it? It's